Hey my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. Hope everyone's having a most glorious day in our Jehovah God Elohim, our El Shaddai, our Haya, our God Almighty. I praise Him. I praise Him and I lift Him up and I exalt our mighty God to the highest of the high I exalt you Father you are a good God and you are so big who can fathom you no one who can be your equal no one who can compare to you no one is there anything too hard for you my God no there is nothing too hard for my God you are beautiful you are loving you are mighty and you are powerful and your servant Wendy loves you with all her heart soul mind and strength In King Yeshua's name, Amen and Amen. Today, I am going to be giving you a vision, spiritual warfare vision. And then I'll be reading Matthew 6 to go along with the word I received at 11.09 this morning. And (laughs) hopefully, I won't run out of time this time. So, the vision starts out as, and I received the vision late last night in prayer. So, I actually received it on 14 November. I begin to see someone sitting in a barber chair, with a barber hovering over him, cutting his hair. And then I noticed the barber backing up, and the Holy Spirit puts it in my mind that he sees that this is a a fallen angel. The barber then begins to say, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get out. Then he says, In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, get out. He keeps repeating, In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, get out. Several more times. Then I see the fallen angel who had gotten out of the chair and was evidently weakened each time he was rebuked by King Yeshua's mighty name. I saw him disappear as dust on the floor and then I saw it blow away to the outside. I asked Jehovah God Elohim why the barber used both names, Jesus Christ first and then King Yeshua HaMashiach to rebuke the fallen angel. He said to let his children know that you can use either of his names to rebuke the enemy, Jesus Christ or Yeshua HaMashiach. And this is kind of going along with the spiritual warfare I touched on on the other video, that King Yeshua conquered death, hell, and the grave when he died and when the Father raised him on the third day. He has the victory. Praise our King Yeshua. Praise Him. For He is worthy. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The scripture that goes along with the um, vision is one for the fallen angels. It's Genesis 6, 1-5. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they have children, and they bear children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, 
men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. In Luke 10.19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. In Philippians 2.8-10, Being found in appearance as a man, he humbles himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. For this reason also God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And this is a scripture that I wanted to reference in the last video that I hadn't prepared. But that's citing the same one that he is a name above all names there is nothing higher than God so now I'll read Matthew chapter 6 take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven therefore when thou doest thine alms do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. 
Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Let us praise our marvelous and wonderful and majestic God. Our Father, God, Yahweh, Elohim, our beautiful Holy Spirit, and our beautiful Holy King, Yeshua HaMashiach, thank you for this day. Thank you for my life, for giving me breath, Father, from you. You gave me my very breath. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you are a God of the living and not of the dead. And you give good and perfect gifts to your children. And you supply our every need and you are our great protector. Thank you for letting us hide under your wings. For under your wings shall I trust. I trust you with everything in me. And I dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I worship you, and I praise you, and I love you. And King Yeshua's holy, perfect, precious, the mightiest name of all, for you have put his name above all names, in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. Amen and amen. Okay, this word I received today at 11.09 a.m. Daughter of Zion, write Father God Yahweh's Yerhiah to all of my children to hear. It is of the utmost importance that you know what your God Jehovah Elohim is telling you. So you thought this time would never come, my end of this era of grace. So you thought that life would continue on just as it has been for thousands of years. Children of my earth, you have been deceived by the devil. There is an ending, and it is upon you. There are thousands in the valley of decision. Do not be a fence-sitter and ponder away the days trying to determine if I am your God. It will not go well with you if you wait too long. As my daughter gave you the vision of souls going to heaven and souls going to hell, so it shall be for all of my children. You will go to one of these places, and it will be eternal. Would you rather my perfect son Yeshua greet you with a smile and embrace or with fire? This is a day for salvation and my son. You may not even have the very next heartbeat. My son did all the work for you. All you have to do is come to him as broken. 
Don't make him a stumbling stone that the builders rejected, but make him the precious stone, your cornerstone of your life. Father God Yahweh has spoken. Blessings in King Yeshua HaMashiach. Blessings to everyone. Have a great evening. Baruch Hashem Adonai.